scientific studies used to monitor the impact of industry on Aboriginal rock art in northwest Western Australia are inadequate, potentially exposing more than a million individual artworks to damage, according to a recent paper published by myself and co-authors in the journal Rock Art Research. The rock art is located near the towns of Dampier and Caratha and is known as the Burrup Peninsula, or Mirujaga. It is a priceless, irreplaceable, cultural and archaeological treasure. The peninsula is also home to industry including an iron ore export port, natural gas processing, liquefying and export facilities, an ammonia urea fertilizer plant and most recently, an ammonium nitrate production facility for explosives. The industry and port produce thousands of tons of acid-forming emissions each year, permitted under environmental regulations. The impact of these emissions has been monitored through several scientific studies, which claimed there was no consistent impact on the rock art. However our paper shows that the four main studies cannot be used to monitor the impact of industry on the art due to methodological errors. For example, one study subjected rocks to acid-forming emissions and concluded that there was no consistent change in color. But there were just not enough repeat measurements to gain any sensible conclusion about the effect of emissions on rock color. Another experiment examining the effects of varying acid and other chemical concentrations was conducted using iron ore, which has no relevance to the rocks on which the art is situated. Measurements of color change between 2004 and 2014 were also made on the rock art and background rock at seven different sites. But the instruments used for measuring change in rock surface color were designed for indoor use and were inappropriate for the highly variable, hot rock surfaces of Mirujiga. Typically, instruments were located at only one place on the rock surface during a measurement each year and this was insufficient to represent the highly variable rock surface. These studies form the basis for government regulation, which permits industry to release acid-forming emissions. While there is no conclusive evidence that industry emissions have damaged the rock art, recent measurements of the surface of rocks near industry by driver Ian McLeod, former director of the Western Australian Maritime Museum, found acidity to have increased 1,000 times above pre-industrial levels. We showed in another scientific paper published earlier this year that acid dissolves the outer surface layer of the rocks causing them to become thinner, lighter in color and to flake away. Once the outer surface layer is removed, the rock art is lost. The federal government is conducting a Senate inquiry into the health of the Mirujika rock art, with a delayed final report due in late November. I argue that, at the very least, Industry must install technology to reduce acid emissions and ammonium nitrate dust particles to virtually zero. Other rock art experts have called for a cessation of all industry on the peninsula in a recent editorial in Rock Art Research. Priceless History